Hi everyone, I'm here to share my laptop setup in case anybody was curious about it. So first we can talk about the actual physical laptop. So I got a ThinkPad off, a used ThinkPad off of eBay. I just picked a random picture of a ThinkPad off of Google here. It's an X1 Carbon Gen 9. I got it for about $350, which I thought was a pretty good price considering that it already came with a one terabyte SSD. I was planning on getting one of those used business ThinkPads, and which I think a lot of them come with like the base setup of either 256 or 512 gigabytes. And I feel like nowadays I want at least a terabyte minimum because all these files we have are so big, but the previous owner already installed it for me. So thank you very much, previous owner. There are There were a couple of scratches on the laptop itself and I think one little blemish on the screen but uh, it's mostly not noticeable so I'm pretty happy with it. One thing that I like about the Gen 9 is I think this was um, one of the first version or maybe the first version of the Carbon of the X1 line to have a 1610 aspect ratio so you see that in this video there are black bars on the side since it doesn't fit quite neatly into 169 so that extra bit of vertical space is nice the other thing that i like about it is that it's quite light i think it's even it's even uh lighter than uh the macbooks that i've used so maybe because it's there's like more plastic in the construction and and the macbooks use more metal um i don't know that's nice since the main use case for this laptop is basically just browsing the internet in bed or on the go for when I want a screen that's larger than my phone. The um, Another thing that people typically like about ThinkPads are the keyboard. So I think the golden standard that people talk about is like the ThinkPad T420 or the X220 with like the old full, full keyboard. They haven't manufactured that for a while. In fact, it's been like 14 or 15 years since the T420 came out and I don't really want to be lugging around like all, I don't know, four, four pounds of that or however, uh, however heavy that is. But in my experience, the keyboard on the Carbon is pretty nice. I, I was expecting the keyboard to feel closer to a MacBook keyboard, but there seems to be a decent bit of key travel to me. I've, I can't figure out whether on the Gen 9 if it's like 1.5 or 1.8 millimeters of travel distance and and I know in general people want more travel distance but it feels pretty f feels pretty pretty deep to me but maybe that's because I normally use MacBooks so I, I have like a shallow keyboard comparison point. Um, for a while, I don't just use a MacBook for my laptop. I mean, I, I also do use a MacBook sometimes, but there's like a certain nostalgia aspect because I used to use like a, what was it? Like an X200 way back in the day in high school. And I have like a certain amount of nostalgia over that setup. And so I, I just like replicating that. And it's nice to be able to keep up my muscle memory for the tiling window manager that I use. So in terms of the operating system that I actually use, I use Fedora with the Sway config and I couldn't really articulate why exactly I chose Fedora over like the other distros um, besides that I've just had Fedora installed for a while on my desktop and I don't really want to bother with distro hopping. I also re learned that uh, fast fetch is like the NeoFetch replacement because I tried to install NeoFetch and it said that it wasn't being updated and it wasn't in the repos anymore so gotta use fast fetch for your uh, desktop threads. Another thing you'll notice is that everything on my screen is blown up like 1.5x or 2x that is because my eyes are bad but I don't like wearing my glasses very often so I blow everything up so I can see more comfortably while I'm browsing in bed. But I also like that Sway, the Sway config comes with a decent bit of sensible default. So it basically comes with the Sway lock already config, or sorry, this Sway bar. I think that's what it's called. The, this 
i3 status replacement <laughs> already configured. Uh, and Sway is also, I think, from what I understand, essentially a drop-in replacement for i3, which is what I used back in the day, except for Wayland. It also has um, Rofi for the, um, for like the launcher replacement, and it has a Thunar, like a lightweight file manager, and a couple of other sensible defaults. I also like that it actually, I did not have to map a lot of extra multimedia keys, like the volume buttons work, the sprightness works, um, print screen even works too, which was surprising. So that was nice, I didn't have to do all of that. Uh, the Sway config, I, I do like that in general it's pretty easy to edit since it's basically just in one file. Um, if you want to edit the other stuff though, like, oh, it's called, yeah, Waybar and Swaylock, which are the two, like, accompanying programs, then you also have to, you might have to edit, like, CSS files, JSONC files, but hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Um, guess you can decide whether it's better or worse than trying to navigate a bunch of a bunch of uh, setting uh, uh, settings in your GUI. I also like having tiling window managers more because in my experience in non MacBook laptops, the trackpads just aren't very good. And you can be like, oh, you know, you want to use the, 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 the track point on the ThinkPad, which is like fine, but I don't know, I still have a little bit of trouble controlling it. And so to me, it's just easier to hit the keys. So you can uh, do this and you see basically the new windows kind of pop up and it makes your desktop look, it makes your screen look cool. And also swap between tab mode, but I prefer to just open up like a new, I guess like desktop here or screen here or like workspace, whatever you want to call it. Let's see, um, yeah, and then there's also a floating window mode, so if you want to open up Firefox, actually this might be more obvious here, you can move it here, and if my font were less big, this would look a lot cooler, <laughs> and that's when you take the screenshot and post on your on your desktop thread. I mainly keep the default options for the Sway, uh, Sway Tally Manager, and also just in other setups in general, I find that I just don't have the patience to memorize and relearn a bunch of like custom commands. And so I'd rather just memorize a set of defaults so I don't have to like try to try to try to like dig up my old dot files and remember what I signed for all of the custom key commands. In terms of other programs, um, I also, I, I mainly have Vim for text editing. Uh, I think there might be some other default code editor installed. Let's see, editor, maybe not. Um, text ed editor? But um, I, I find that I actually just work better with having a mouse for doing a lot of coding. So um, Vim is pretty good for just like kind of quick edits. But if I'm going to be modifying like hundreds of lines or thousands of lines in a giant repo, then I would just move to my desktop where I have the mouse. As for how I actually use this, so most of the time I am just gonna be browsing in bed. Um, I'll probably just be like using YouTube and Hacker News, so not a lot of exciting stuff happening. I think it's just kind of pretty comfy to have the big screen and being able to navigate between all the panels just using the keyboard. I think that's honestly the, the, the main benefit of this. I, I think the, the screen itself on the ThinkPad is also decent. Probably not as nice as a MacBook though, but I think it's kind of hard to, hard to beat the MacBook in terms of price. All right, those are the big ticket items for my setup. And if you have any questions, feel free to post it in the comments and thank you for watching.